In today's video, I'm just going to talk about building something called an abstract navigation system in a UI app. So how do we normally handle navigation in a UI app? Well, normally what happens is that we use something like a routing framework that is usually bound to whatever framework we're using. So we might use something like React Router. React Router is a really simple framework that says if I go to some sort of URL, then I want to show some sort of component, okay? When we do it like this, um, this creates all manner of problems because what happens is we get a very hard wiring uh, between where the URL is and what sort of components are shown. And what we miss out is we miss out two things. We firstly miss out any sort of abstract description of the problem, and we also miss out the ability to run uh, business processes in a decoupled manner. And what this, uh, what basically happens is that this can create, create all sorts of problems with regards to the way that you build apps. And one of the problems that I've seen that happens time and time again is that you will get a difference between when you want to build something in a mobile app, okay, and you want to build something for the desktop. Because often what will happen is that in the mobile app, we will want to show a subset of the sort of options that we've got. And in the desktop app, we will want, you know, in our navigation, we will want to show, um, a, you know, a, a more deep tree, essentially, of what's going on. And so when we begin to build our navigation systems, we will wire our buttons directly to some sort of URL, and then the URL will go in and show the components. But the problem is, is that often um, we will want the similar components at different places within this navigation, um, but we want it to behave in the same way across multiple systems. And so what we end up doing is we end up building separate navigation systems for desktop and separate navigation systems for mobile. And that means that we end up with a lot of if statements in our HTML, okay? Uh, we have to actually say, you know, if we're in this sort of situation, then show this navigation. If we're in this situation, show that navigation. And then we have to then start putting in, uh, you know, components, you know, different types of components to show on different things. And it creates a really, really big, burly mess. So what we do instead is we begin to build something called an, an abstract navigation system which will work with routing so instead of going directly from url to component what we will do is we'll go from a url okay and we will go into some abstract data model all right and the data model that we teach is called a tree model and the tree model will allow you to go down separate branches okay and what we do is we say that whether you're building for mobile or you're building for desktop, we build for anything, we should be able to represent the entire business process of places that that user can go in an abstract data model. So we may say, well, the user always starts at login and then they can maybe go to products um, or they can maybe go to their user preferences and they can maybe go to search and they can maybe go to data list and they can go to update user preferences um, or they can go to maybe they want to add, uh, add another team member or something like this right and what we say is that by actually representing the uh, navigation um, inside a data model the business can look at this data model and say well hey actually instead of us trying to say what the user interface looks like in terms of mobile in terms of desktop and in terms of different situations and even desktop with different users what we can do is we can just represent everything in an abstract data model and the business can come along and say yeah we want this for desktop and mobile uh, we only want this for we want this for desktop and mobile but we only want this one for desktop and we want this one for, we want this one to just inherit whatever the parent has, and then we want this one to inherit whatever the parent has. But oh, by the way, we only we want we only want this one on mobile, okay? So the, it, by by actually abstracting, instead of using just direct routing and saying, hey, when this URL appears, we show this component, and then we put a load of this statements into the the HTML, and we basically represent these rules in the HTML and inside the framework routing components. What we do is we shift everything out. We create an abstract data model. Okay, and you can use anything. You can use things like linked lists, uh, linked lists, or you can, you know, you can. We use a tree model often, and um, so we create an abstract data model. But then, critically, what we do is we also create a little bit of a container that talks with the routing framework, talks to this container that will have the abstract data model in, 
but it will also let us run independent business processes at each point during this, which means that we can now begin to track exactly where the user is in that abstract data model. And then once we've created the abstract data model and we've run the right business processes at each stage, because by the way, at each stage, you know, there may be things like they have to go off to the API and load other data. We can keep refining this business model, both as we define it and in real time, as we build it, we can dynamically shift this data model around. Then finally, what we do is we hand back control back to the router uh, or we hand back control back to the framework. OK, uh, the point is, is that we pull control away. We represent everything in the correct data model. The navigation system becomes an abstract asset of the application. We pull everything away. Once we've done everything that we need to do from a business and from a domain perspective, we then hand control back to the router or back to the framework in however you want to implement it. And this works very well with Angular, it works very well with React, it works very well with Vue, because fundamentally all I'm teaching you here is that what we have to do is we have to begin abstracting away a lot of our things that the business are going to want us to create the sort of flexibility to do. And this is going to have a profound impact on simplifying your um, the components and the views and the things that normally happen at the edge of the application, such as here, when we just blindly go in and we follow uh, the frameworks and we use whatever tools they want us to use. So I'm not saying don't use the tools, I'm saying think about getting the tools to work for you, not the other way around. If you would like to know more about building abstract navigation systems, I'm running a free web training class this week in it. We're going to be going over three things. Firstly, I'm going to be going over eight principles, such as abstracting things like this, that you can begin using today um, in your UI apps, in your UI architecture, in any framework, React, Angular or Vue. Secondly, um, I'm going to be teaching you something called the holistic developer process. And that is going to teach you how you can have a day-to-day -day process, which is going to enable you to build more scalable and testable code. And in the third part, I'm going to teach you how you can make the transition from being a regular engineer to being a UI architect engineer okay a ui architect engineer who begins thinking about abstracting away things that are going to make the software less brittle uh, more flexible and easier ultimately to give to results to whoever they are writing the software for if you'd like to join me in this webinar what you do is you click the link on or around this video you're going to get taken through to another page uh, you sign up i hope to see you on the other side